So it is the next day and it's actually pretty late in the day. It is about 1.30. So on Tuesdays, I always have a book club in the morning with um, some high school girls for like my church. Though it's my second to last meeting with them. So won't be uh, a thing for too much longer since school is starting back up for them. But yeah, so that went over like an hour more than it usually does because we were just in like some really good conversation. So that happened. Then I came home, had lunch, all of that. And actually last night I started working. I don't know why I got this random burst of energy. I was literally like checking my email, finishing some last minute things I wanted to just like do in that sense of things and I was ready to go to bed. But I just was like, I still have energy. I need to do something with this. So I started draping like a dress. It's like right here um, that I've had in mind for like the longest time. And I started like making it. <laughs> so I have it draped. I have like the pattern of it draped. I kind of want to make it for myself and then I'm probably going to maybe make it for my shop if I have enough for it. But I used all these sage green uh, fabric scraps and um, and my mom helped me cut these out into squares just with all the scraps that I have left because some of them were like big enough to kind of do something with and the others were not but you know they're small enough squares to have gotten like a good amount out of them like I literally have this whole bag full and then I started surging all of them last night which is literally the most time consuming thing ever because obviously you have to surge all four sides but there's like probably hundreds of these squares so I started doing that last night and then I did a little bit uh, today as well just like in between random times and stuff so kind of did that um, which was kind of random, but yeah, I don't know why I got that random burst of energy But yeah, obviously I'm gonna patchwork that into something um, I'm thinking I'm doing that for my holiday collection That's gonna be part of it But I also just wanted to make one for myself so I can wear in LA maybe if I like it enough So that's kind of why I got that random burst of energy to do it But yeah today I had scheduled out to make some zero waste clutches or bags So I think I'm gonna do that to get some of those out of the way. I'm making the circle one that I've made so I've made the ones with vinyl that are like obviously clear and made them different colors and they're like square or like rectangle but I don't really have any vinyl right now and I haven't found any like secondhand or dead stock or just like remnant and I don't really want to buy it new obviously because it is plastic um, so I'm gonna do just the circle ones that are uh, sandwiched between like chiffon which I think are super cute and super fun so I'm gonna do those I have a bunch of chains that have been hanging there for literally ever they've been there probably the six months or more so finally gonna use those I'm kind of indecisive about colors I think I'm gonna do quite a few like black ones maybe some white ones and maybe I'll do like some sage green ones or something just because that's a popular color but I definitely want to stick to like neutrals a little bit more with these so that's what we're gonna do I want to make for today I think is what I had on my um, schedule so shouldn't be that hard to get through so yeah let's let's get into it It is the next day. I also did a poor job of vlogging yesterday. I don't know what is up with me, but I finished the two bags <laughs> that I started yesterday. I meant to do four, but I only ended up making two. And then I just like, I don't know why I got this random burst of like energy to make this dress that I've been thinking of for so freaking long. And I just feel like I'm the kind of person that if I start thinking of something and like I have the fabrics and everything to make it, like I just want to make it because I feel like I'm going to like lose the idea in my head or something. I don't know. It makes literally no sense, but that's just the way it is. So last night at like nine or something I decided it'd be a good idea to start patchworking this dress that I've had in mind that I had things like already prepped for and I literally spent like three hours making this I drank my Red Bull that I also had in the fridge from like a couple weeks ago um and I just like stayed up getting this done but yeah um I'll show you guys I don't want to show you too much because I think I'm going to show this dress later on for like a different thing that might be happening but I'll show you kind of what what it looks like right now anyway so I spent um, all of last night patchworking all of this together. Um, these are the scraps from the sage green things I've made from like the green tied top to the slip dresses to the rose tops. These are all the remaining scraps. I cut them into obviously like even squares. So I have that. I obviously still have like the back to make. So I have all those squares also made. They took me for freaking ever to surge. Literally like surging all of this was ridiculous. There's 118 squares on just the front. So love that. So that is what I did.
did last night, which I didn't vlog because it isn't necessarily part of the pop-up and I meant to just vlog the pop-up stuff this week, so I don't know why I decided that I needed to do that last night, but I did, so love that. Anyway, I don't know what I want to do today in terms of pop-up stuff. I know I have it all written down on a calendar, but I just like, I don't know, I have to be like feeling it to want to make stuff. So I think I might make some more patchwork tanks. I want to make the black ones that have the, the white stitching on it. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do because I have white serger thread on there right now So I want to do that I think and yeah, then we'll see what else the day the day holds But I think that's what we're gonna do first just to start getting more things out of the way because patchwork things go a little bit faster So I feel like I'm getting a lot more done when I make them if that makes sense. So um, yeah, let's do it So I've got two of these made so far. I have enough maybe to do a couple more. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. And yeah, I'm like getting tired of making these already. These take like a little bit extra just because I do top stitch every single seam. So it just takes a little bit extra, but I think it looks really nice though. So yeah, it's like 1120-ish right now. So I'm like debating whether or not I wanna start the next one or if I wanna do some like computer work. Anyway, I will catch you guys in a little bit. So I just got one more of these made and I don't think this is gonna be enough for one more So I think we're gonna just have three of these but you know what that's good and we got rid of that fabric basically So we're doing well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more uh, Zero waste bags that I meant to do yesterday and then obviously I got sidetracked with the other dress I decided to make but I think I'm going to do a couple more of those I'm kind of indecisive on colors I think I might do some white ones right now just because I have two black ones I'm gonna do I think two white ones and then I'll see I might do a green one or something just because I have so many sage green scraps and those have been popular but I'm gonna start with the white ones and then we'll see from there. I just got this white one done. I think it's so cute. I actually only had enough white chiffon for this. I got like a remnant of it forever ago at Joann's and it was only like a fourth of a yard. So I only was able to make one out of it. So I don't have, well, I do have other white like organza and chiffon I could use, but I kind of thought about using that for some one of a kind pieces. So I do have this chiffon that I used for a custom order that was yellow and then and I took away some of the color so it's kind of like creamy now which I think could be cute with some of my like beige and creamy and champagne -y kind of scraps so that would be kind of like a little off-white moment I think it would be cute so I think I might make one of these and then I'm gonna kind of look around I think I might just make some more black ones because I think I still have some more black chiffon of a different kind so I'm gonna do that but anyway I think I'm gonna take a quick break and go on a little walk I just need a little de-stressor I need to get out for a hot minute and then we'll be back to do this other cream one hi guys it is much later i don't know why i keep having these like big gaps in the middle of the day when i'm vlogging but i just like hit such a low in the day or just like a very off moment in the day between like three to six and i just like i'm not that productive for whatever reason but then like i've been super productive at night so i'm not like upset at myself about it because i like make up those hours later and i'm like very productive about it but it's just been weird anyway so i went on a walk i showered had dinner and i am now ready to get back to work onto this little zero waste bag 
bag. So I think I'm gonna make one of these like cream ones and then I'm gonna kind of see how I like it. I might make another one, but we'll see. I just wanna kind of like test one out first. So I'll make one of these and then I'll catch you guys um, after and see how we like it. I just finished this. I think it actually looks so cute. Here's an up close of it. It's like a really cute creamy color and I just think it looks really cute. So like I'm a fan of this. I changed into a different top because I was filming a TikTok of this. So yeah, pretty cute. That's like a two-in-one done, made a TikTok and have this, so yeah. I have a virtual fitting with somebody here in like 45 minutes-ish, and I am debating what I'm gonna end up wanting to do tonight. Part of me kind of wants to start finishing up that green dress that I started last night, just because, you know, I like to get things out of the way, so I might do that, but TBD, I will catch you guys later and uh, let you know. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's the next day. As you saw last night, I ended up uh, starting this dress. I got so tired when I was like almost kind of wrapping up with it. Like I'm more than halfway through with it or kind of halfway through with it, but I got so tired and then I went to bed and my sleep schedule has just been so bad because like I'm super tired so I'll go to bed, but then like my mind is racing with like a million things that I want to do or like ideas and what I want to get done the next day and how I'm going to go about certain things and then I just like cannot fall asleep for the life of me even though my body is literally exhausted. So love that. Anyway, it was very difficult to get up this morning. So I got up a little bit later. By a little bit later, I mean like literally 30 minutes later. Like it's not even that big of a difference. But yeah, I'm very tired. I'm kind of debating what I want to make today. I think I have a puff sleeve top that's like one of a kind that I have cut out and like prepped already. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and sew that one up. I have a couple other things that are also cut out back there. So I think I'm just going to get through that little pile back there of stuff just to get that out of the way. And then we'll see what else I want to do today. I might finish this up or something. But yeah, I'm just so tired but you know we're almost done with the week so we're getting there slowly but surely so i just got this done i think it looks super cute so gonna start on to the next pile Just finished this one. This is another rose top in this really cute peachy pink color. I had enough for two. I had another one cut out, but one of the pieces was cut out wrong, and I'm not sure if we have enough fabric to cut it out correctly. So we'll see, but I think this is so cute. So it's like 11-ish now, and I planned on filming another video today for Saturday. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and film that right now, and then have lunch, and then get back to work afterwards, because I feel like this is like the right amount of time to film that video. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Feeling good, even though I'm like super tired, I feel like you can tell my face is still like kind of puffy, but I am so tired, but we're still being productive, which is good because I feel like sometimes when I'm like so tired, I just can't even function, but we're getting through it. I feel like making a different thing every time that I'm making something like helps a lot because if I'm making the same thing over and over again, that's when I get really tired and like really unmotivated sometimes, but I feel like making a new item every time I'm making something has been really helpful because obviously it's like the first time I'm making something and like I love seeing how it turns out and it's just, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but it just helps me so much to be like constantly making new things. So very excited for this one. I'm gonna go hang it up and I will catch you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so it's a lot later. It is like four at this point. Again, with the whole like skipping a whole thing of the day, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I had lunch. I went to the post office to drop off a couple packages I had and I went to Joanne's to get some stuff that I needed and then came back, started editing the video that I filmed earlier, like halfway through it. And then I also went ahead and put some of those tags on the items that I have. I was counting it all out and I have like 23 items so far, which is actually like a good amount. It just doesn't feel like a lot 
because it's like you know I don't know it just like if I don't have a full rack it doesn't feel like a lot because like a lot of that stuff is also just like extra stuff so it's like from there to there which like it's a lot for one person to have made in the amount of time that I've made it in but I just still feel like it won't be like a lot I actually asked one of the other brands to like let me know what the vibe is <laughs> because I just saw that they were gonna be there for the whole month so their stuff is already there and the people that we're doing this pop-up with haven't really like posted too much of it so I was asking her I was like hey like I'm doing this pop-up as well but I'm going for the last two weeks of August like have you been to it what's the vibe just kind of want to like you know know what I'm getting myself into and uh, they were really nice and they sent over some videos of it so this is what they sent me um, they said that their friend had gone but uh, they hadn't actually visited yet because they were in town or out of town um, but like they have so much stuff there which like I understand because you know they're not making it themselves but I just like I don't want to not have as much stuff as everyone else it's like such a contradictory thing like they sent me this picture too of like all their stuff which is like so much and it looks so cool to have a bunch of like the same stuff of theirs all up on one wall but I know that it's not possible for me but I just like want to have enough to like fill up a little bit because obviously also with like crop tops it just looks like a lot less I don't know I feel like that really like like kicked into gear that I want to make a lot more want to make as much as I possibly can which I still have a week left six days technically but that's still a good amount of time to get a lot done if I really want to so hopefully we'll get a couple more things done but yeah I kind of want to finish this green dress I actually went to Joann's to get something that I needed for it to finish it up because I don't want to leave it just like there I want to get it done also I want to take it to LA so yeah so I want to get that and yeah tonight I'm getting dinner with my mom so then we'll probably have another late night making stuff but that's kind of vibe. I will catch you guys a little bit later. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I didn't end up vlogging last night. I did do work. I went out to dinner with my mom and then I worked on this dress a little bit more and in a different dress, but yeah, I don't know why I didn't vlog. I didn't stay up super late or anything. I actually crashed relatively early last night, which is nice because I feel very well rested. I think I definitely needed that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I think this vlog is super freaking long already and I think I'm gonna do a part two on finishing things up next week. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Stay tuned for part two and for when I actually actually go out to LA. I'm super excited about it. So yeah, subscribe for more if you haven't already and follow me on social media for more behind the scenes content and info and all of that stuff. My Instagram is at natalia.trevino. My shop Instagram is at natalia.trevino.maro and my TikTok is also at natalia.trevino.maro. So follow that if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!